Hello, and today we're recording the last addendum for the whole course. After this, you're officially done with all the videos in the course. Well, except for the goodbye video. So, hooray! Congratulations for making it this far. We're very proud of you. Um, so the first thing I want to go over in this addendum is safety equipment. We're going to look at safety equipment. And the main thing I want to emphasize here, this should already be pretty obvious, and maybe I've already even mentioned it, but the test is putting more emphasis on it than before. So I'm going to make sure you know that when you're working on an antenna tower, when you're climbing a tower, when you're uh, servicing your antenna that's on top of a tower, always make sure to wear a safety harness and safety goggles. This is um, to keep you safe. So you always want to wear these because if you don't have a safety harness, you could fall off your tower. And if you don't have safety goggles, your eyes could get hurt, which is why you wear that. Those pieces of equipment. So anyway, you should always wear, wear those when you're working on a tower, in addition to all the other safety measures we went over in the main lecture for this section. So that is officially now on the test as of 2018 and will be at least until 2022. And that's Bob, he's working on his tower. All right, the second thing for this addendum, there's only two things, is, um, I don't have a title for this, but when you're installing a device for, okay, so I talked about last lesson how sometimes people ground their coax, and this wasn't quite accurate, although maybe you could put it that way, but really what it is, is people buy a device that they attach to their coax, and then they ground that. So they'll, they'll put something, they'll put a lightning protection thing uh, attach their coax and that'll be connected to the ground and that grounds uh, that grounds your equipment better. Anyways, when you're installing a device for lightning protection in a coax cable feed line, um, make sure to mount all the connectors, all the protectors onto a metal plate. So ma you mount them all to a one metal plate. I mount all your grounding stuff to one metal plate and then you connect that to one external ground rod. That's the recommended way to do it, according to the people who know a lot about grounding and electricity. Um, if you look in the Gordon West Manual, that's the recommended way to do it. If you have any questions on grounding, just ask your ham radio club. Um, the Gordon West Manual goes into this maybe in a little more detail, but that's all you need to know for the exam. And with that, uh, I think we're finished with the addendum. So anyway, study for the section, take the quiz, and then move on to the practice test, which I'm going to uh, give you and there will be some instructions on those and once you've mastered the practice test you can you will be ready for the exam you can go take the exam and get your license and definitely let me know because I want to know what your new call sign is and maybe we can even have a contact so it's been great teaching you uh, there will be one more goodbye video later but yeah good luck <laughs>